Hey there, CPO here, and getting ready to start my tricopter build. So I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step journey as I go through this. I'm going to do my best to make it as concise as possible, yet giving you as much information as I can. So if you're new like me to tricopter building, hopefully this will become a good reference. There's a lot of great material out there, so I'll be using that as well. Uh, so I'm not trying to take away from that, I'm just trying to add to it. So let's take a quick look at the parts, uh, at least initially, that I'll be using for this build. Uh, the first thing I have here is 1 8 inch 5 ply, actually it says 5 ply, but it when I count the plies it looks like 7 ply to me, but it's aircraft grade plywood. Uh, it's a one, sh 1 foot by 2 foot sheet. Uh, fairly stiff, a little bit of spendy, almost 18 bucks for this sheet, but I should be able to get uh, several bodies out of it plus other components that I might uh, need. Next up are these half inch uh, wooden dowels, the square dowels. I got these from Home Depot and uh, it was actually tougher um, as you can see in this video here it was a little bit tough to find some that were straight so I pulled out a lot and uh, and went through and you know eyeballed down them looking for straight pieces and I was able to find four that were reasonably straight out of the uh, the whole stack that was in there of I don't know 20 or 30 of them so uh, just be careful when you pick these out that you get some that are actually straight or at least straight for a significant distance, distance enough to be able to get your arms uh, cut out. Here is the KK 2.1 board from Hobby King, which is the next iteration of the KK board. More on that later. Uh, and uh, I'm using this uh, Bluebird uh, servo that uh, David recommended in his build. A lot of people seem to use them. It's the BMS 385 D Max. Uh, should be a good servo. Next are these uh, DT750 Hextronic uh, motors from Hobby King. Uh, and these uh, seem to be very popular historically with tri builds. Here is my Afro 20 amp ESCs. Uh, I like that these had the Simon K firmware built into them. Uh, they don't really have a significant BEC, so I do have an external BEC here that I will use to power uh, that tail servo. Uh, because I think it's going to need more guts than what those afros can provide. I'll use the afro, uh, however, to uh, supply power to the board and the receiver, probably. Speaking of receivers, this is my uh, FreeSky, whoops, there it is, uh, D8R2 uh, Plus uh, 8 channel, uh, so uh, that'll come in handy. And I got some random parts. Here's uh, a couple different types of props. I've got some silicone wire. Uh, some a uh, couple of attachments for the KK board um, but that's really it um, and uh, you can see I've been working on my custom design here for the tri body and uh, just about have that where I want it so that's what I'm gonna use so that's it I look forward to getting started on this build and I hope you enjoy watching it so I'll catch you on the next video when I start uh, probably with the motors I think I'll start getting those ready to go so thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one